guys, for today's video, I'm going to be painting a toilet seat. Get away from I'm me! I'm so scared! Oh! Oh! Full disclosure, I got this idea from Chloe Rose Art. She has painted two toilet seats before and they came out great. I love both of the videos and something about the videos were just calling out to me and I was, they were just like, paint the paint toilet, the toilet seat. seat, paint, paint the, the toilet, toilet seat. seat. And I was like, <laughs> okay, it's a strange concept. I'll give it to her, Chloe, this is just, really weird but i like it now don't worry it's um it's brand new it's it's brand new it just came out of the box so it's completely clean i did post a hint on my instagram if you follow me there you might be aware that i'm painting a toilet seat probably not because it was kind of hard to give a hint about this okay starting off with a brand new toilet seat i'm proving to you that i have it fresh out the box we're opening up the plastic and i'm gonna start painting Now that I've painted my blue background, I just want to give you some context on what I'm actually painting. So this is supposed to be under the sea, so this is if you were underwater and you're looking up at the top of the water and there's a lot of light shining through and it's deep in the sea. Let's move in to our first fish. This is just the general shape of the fish, it's not very detailed, just doing soft brush strokes and dabbing some paint in there and this is going to all serve as the background layer to the painting yes we are going to be adding a bunch of more fish and i realize that this is ironic considering i hate fish fish are gross but here we go I would like it to be noted that this fish right here is my absolute favorite. I think he turns out looking adorable. I realize that these fish don't look super detailed or good close up, but that's kind of the style I was going for, I guess. I don't know. You may like the style, you may hate it, I don't know. Do it that what you may. Okay, so these are beams of light coming through from the top of the water. It's a very sunny day, and then there's like the dark abyss of the bottom of the ocean. And of course, we will be adding more fish. There are Plenty of fish in the sea, as my dad says. More fish, Lego! <laughs> all right, all right, okay, this right here is not a fish. <gasps> This is actually a sea mammal. No, this is a rep reptile, I'm being told. So I'm just doing the basic shape here for the sea turtle. And it took me a while to do the shading on this. I had a couple of reference images to look at. I was really focusing on trying to get all the different colors and shading right with the lighting because he's very close to the top of the ocean and the bottom of him is also very dark because it's in the abyss of the ocean. And right there, he's starting to look like someone I know with that yellow stomach. <laughs> Let's paint. this point I had pretty much everything done except the foot. I have no explanation. I gotta do this. So we painted the foot. I don't know why I made that a big deal but it was just weird to me that it was just not painted for so long. And we're adding the final shading. I think he's starting to look like he's in tip-top shape. And now we're gonna add more... You guessed it, fish. Is anyone surprised? No. 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 No, we're not surprised. Okay, so these are just yellow fish that are in a herd or a pack, um, a swarm. I don't know what the what the word is for a herd of fish. It's a school of fish. I honestly amaze myself sometimes. A new sea turtle will appear now. He's bad. He looks mm, not as good as that guy. I don't... Mm, uh, he's not great. 
it's just a wreck. He's a wreck. We'll be honest. He's a wreck. I painted him off camera. I think I was tired. I don't know what excuse I have here, but that guy is a wreck and I'm trying to fix him right now. He will be fixed, but he will always be just a little bit of a mess like our good friend Marge. She's a little bit of a mess, but she's very nice, and we still love her very much. Okay, we're moving on to some coral, because that's a little bit easier to paint. I don't know if it's a great compliment to myself if I say my painting looks better from farther away, but it does. And we're gonna move into some sea anemone. I think they're large sea anemone. I don't know why I'm trying to name the plants, honestly. I don't know marine life very well. I've been told by the internet that that black and yellow fish is called a black and yellow angel fish. I do know that usually in movies that fish is the mean or jaded fish. He was in the tank in Finding Nemo. I don't think he was too mean, but he did want to escape the tank and he had some weird hoo-ha-ha -ha thing going on. I don't, I don't really know. I don't know what that has to do with what this is, what's happening here, but I thought it was worth it to point it out. What? Moving on, we're just dabbing our brush and creating some, I guess this is like seaweed, red seaweed. I don't really know what this is. This is some kind of plant life and we're gonna keep painting. Okay, moving across to this side, then we're adding some more things that go in the background. As you can see, we've kind of been slowly making our way down the toilet bowl. Mm -mm, I don't like that. I don't know. But yeah, so we're adding some lighting here and the next thing to do is add a plant right there because why not? We're just trying to build up all of the sea life. I don't know what this is called, like a coral area. What is that? What is that word that I'm looking for? A coral reef, maybe? I think that might be what I'm looking for, the word. The things I forget actually scare me. Yes. Yes, it is. It's a coral reef. So this is some more anemone. I think it's large anemone is what I was looking up. Sea anemone. I don't know why I keep trying to name these things. I was just looking at reference images of what coral reefs look like and what they contain. And this is, this is the stuff that's in the coral reefs. Ahem. And here, I, this was going to be some yellow coral at first, and then I was like, oh, let me make it some seaweed. But then I went back and made it coral, so just, just you wait. That will look better. It will look like some yellow coral before you know it. That's some rocks over there. This is the beginning of a plant, and then I add flowers to that afterwards. And then I have a bush. I don't know, that's not in the sea, but it's like some kind of seaweed, you know, like a mossy type of thing. I really gotta just stop saying exactly what's happening because like you guys can observe what I'm, observe, observe, how, why can't I say that word, observe? I'm really going crazy over here, guys. I don't know what I'm doing, but you can observe what I'm painting here, you know? And I gotta stop saying every little thing I do, but I'm not sure what else to say. That appeared there. I lost the tape on me making those clownfish. Nemo, we found you. Ironic, because we also lost Nemo in the movie. Here's another, here's another fish, because why wouldn't we add another fish? And finally, we're making it to the sand. I'm telling you guys, we're very close to the end. And it took me days, days to paint this. This was like five days, and it doesn't look like it would take five days, but oh man, this painting took forever. Okay, so we're adding some shadows over here by the plants, and I tried to make them like shades of the color of the plants that they are. I don't know if you can tell that. And I added some more bushes, some colorful bushes, because those are in those coral reefs. Coral reefs are very colorful. You'd be shocked how colorful they are. Look up some pictures of coral reefs. They're beautiful. Very, very beautiful. And, okay, so here's some more plants. We're nearing the end. Plants, plants, plants. Plants, 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 plants. Okay, there's a starfish. I messed up that starfish for a while. Tried to make some shading on the sand. Didn't like it. Put some more little bushes and then added more shading on the sand. I think I added, like, pebbles and stuff. It took me a while. And I added one more fish for good luck. We put them in the large anemone. I outlined it in gray, and then of course I signed my name with the little shooting star, like I promised I would start signing everything with. And this is the final thing! Okay, we're painting it over with a Mod Podge, but this is the final thing. I love it! Look how cute it is. Look at all these little things. This took so long, and I'm so happy with it. There's something about like a beach in a bathroom that people love. People love beachy bathrooms. I don't know what it is. 
I realize that this painting is not perfect. It's not like the best thing ever, but I like it a lot and I think it turned out great. So I don't know. Let me know if you guys like it too. <laughs> okay, so it took me a whole week to film this and for some reason every single time I pictured the outro I wanted to have me doing this and now that I'm doing it it seems like it's like really dumb so I don't know but that is the end of the video guys this is the final product I hope you guys like the way it looks I'm clipping my finger in here ow oh my god ow ow what okay yeah okay this is the end of the video. I love the way this came out. I can't display it in the background over here, but I have asked my mom if she wants to put it in her bathroom and she might end up doing that. So this is probably where the toilet is going to go. If there are any other random objects you guys feel the need for me to paint on, feel free to leave a comment below. I'm very open to suggestions. And that is the end of the video, guys. I hope you liked it. Subscribe if you want to, otherwise don't, and I'll see you next week. Bye. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Oh. We have the shout outs. Okay, so for this week's video, the shout outs are Madison, the creative kid, Leah, Tristan, Thea, Hannah Sugar, Eva, Rose, and Maddie. Last time I forgot to say Hannah Sugar, so Hannah, that is you. And that is the end of the video, guys. If you would like a shout out in next week's video, all you have to do is follow the instructions that are in the description box of this week's video. And that's the real end of the video, guys. Subscribe if you want to, otherwise don't, and I'll see you next week. <laughs> Bye.